Ah, oh, now a tricky one. Some people thought this wouldn't even be possible, but we will prove them wrong. We are diving headfirst into the world of SEO, specifically how to optimize your blogger blog using some nifty AI tools. I know what you're thinking, SEO on blogger, really? But trust me, even if blogger isn't the fanciest tool in the shed, we can still make it work wonders. So if you're tired of seeing your blog languish in the depth of Google search results and you are ready to reel in some readers, this video is just what the SEO doctor ordered. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, not because it gives us a thrill, though it does, but because you don't want to miss out on more digital marketing gold. Okay, so before we get into the nitty gritty, Let's have a quick chat about SEO. No, it's not some secret government agency, although some days it does feel that way. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, which in plain English means tweaking your blog so that it's easier for search engines like Google to find, understand, and love. So why should you care? Because high ranking in search results mean more eyeballs on your blog, more readers, and if you play your cards right, more followers and engagement like giving your blog a megaphone in the crowd. Now, Blogger might not have all the bells and whistles of a platform like WordPress. Think of it as the classic vinyl to WordPress's shiny new streaming service. But that doesn't mean we can't make some beautiful music together, especially when we bring AI tools into the mix. They help simplify the whole SEO dance, even on a platform as straightforward as Blogger. So let's roll up our sleeves and get into the steps. Now, the First thing on our SEO to-do list is keyword research. Imagine keywords as the secret handshake to the Google Club. They help your blog get noticed and get up that ranking. This is where AI tools like Ubersuggest or Arefs come into play. They're like having a smart friend who always knows the latest gossip, or in this case, the latest keywords people are searching for. Here's how to do it step by step. Number one, today we're using Uber Suggest because, well, it sounds like something out of a sci-fi novel and it is quite user-friendly. So enter a broad topic that relates to your topic. So let's say you're writing about gardening because, I mean, who doesn't love a good gardening tip? You might start with something broad like home gardening tips. Look for long tail keywords. These are just fancy terms for longer, more specific phrases that are less competitive. So think home gardening tips for beginners or organic vegetable gardening at home. These phrases are the low hanging fruit of the keyword world, easier to rank for and still juicy. So select keywords that have a decent search volume but aren't insanely competitive. So it's like choosing the Goldilocks of keywords, not too hard, not too easy, just right. So by the end of this step, you'll have a list of keywords that make your blog shine brighter than a new pair of wellies on a rainy day, which is exactly what it is today. So you've done your keyword research and you've got a list of shiny new keywords ready to go. Now it is time to create some content that will make those keywords work for you. Here's where AI writing tools like ChatGPT or Jasper can come to the rescue. These tools can help you draft high quality SEO friendly blog posts in no time. Perfect if you're not exactly Hemingway or fancy a bit of a shortcut. Now here's how to get started. Head over to an AI writing tool like ChatGPT. Don't worry, it is as simple as typing in a search box. Prompt this AI with your chosen keyword and ask it to draft a blog post outline or even write the entire post for you. For example, you could type, write a blog post about quick vegan dinner ideas, including five recipes and their benefits. Just like magic, you'll have a structured outline or a draft in seconds. So now you really need to edit the AI content. Make sure it sounds like you, unless your readers enjoy the sound of a robot talking to them. Also make sure to naturally weave in your target keywords. The AI can even suggest additional keywords and subtopics based on your main topics, which is quite handy, right? This not only saves you loads of time, but also ensures that your content is structured well for both readers and search engines. So now that your content is sorted, whether you've written it yourself based on the structure or used AI, now we need to make sure that search engines know what your content is about. This is where meta descriptions and SEO tags come into play. Think of them as the little snippets that tell search engines, hey, this blog post is exactly what you're looking for. Good news, you don't have to write these manually. AI tools can help automate the process. 
even on Blogger. Here's how to automate your meta descriptions. Number one, use the built-in tools in Blogger to set up your meta description. If you are already using an AI tool, you can ask it to generate a meta description for you based on the content that you've created. Number two, input your blog post title and target keywords into the SEO tool. Let the AI work its magic by suggesting a meta description. For example, discover quick and easy vegan dinner ideas that are perfect for beginners. Try these five delicious recipes today. It's like getting a friendly nudge from a mate who knows exactly what to say. Now review and tweak the AI generated meta description to make sure it's catchy, includes your keywords and entices users to click on your links. After all, a good meta description should be like a good movie trailer, just enough to make people want more. Now remember, keep it concise, include your target keywords and make it appealing. That is your ticket to higher rankings and more clicks. Now with your content and meta description sorted, you are already halfway to a fully optimized blog. Next, we're gonna move on to the technical SEO settings on Blogger. We're gonna go step by step, just in case you're not used to all the techie side of things. Let's keep it simple. So we've got your content polished and your meta description sparkling. It is time to dive into something a little bit more behind the scenes technical SEO. It sounds a little bit like going backstage at a rock concert, but less glamorous and more cables. But trust me, it is crucial for making sure that your blog plays all the right notes for search engines. Even though Blogger isn't exactly the SEO superstar platform like some others, you can still do a fair bit to make sure that your blog gets noticed. So let's walk through the steps to get your technical SEO settings sorted on Blogger. Now, step number one, Access the search preferences in Blogger. Go to your Blogger dashboard, log into your Blogger account and navigate to your blog's main dashboard. Click on settings in the left-hand menu. This will open up a list of options to further customize and optimize your blog. Now select search preferences from the settings menu. This is where you will find all the options needed to adjust your SEO settings. And now we're into step number two, enable custom robots.txt. Find the crawlers and indexing section within the search preferences. This section allows you to control how search engines interact with your blog. This feature lets you decide which pages and posts Google and other search engines should index or ignore. So create or use an AI generated robots.txt script to specify which pages should be indexed. Paste that script into the box. For example, plain text, copy code, user agent dot asterisk, disallow dot forward slash search, allow forward slash site map HTML. So this script will tell search engines not to index search pages, but allows all other content. Make sure to replace the example with your own blog's URL. Step number three, enable custom header tags. Still in the crawlers and indexing section, find the custom robots header tags option. Turn on enable custom robots header tags. This lets you control indexing and visibility settings for different types of content on your blog. Set the home page, archive and search page tags. So for the home page tags, choose all and nude. For archive and search page tags, choose no index and nude. For post and page tags, choose all and nude again. Save your changes to apply these settings. These tags help search engines understand which content to show in search results and which to ignore. So step number four, now generate a sitemap. So a sitemap lists all the pages on your blog that you want search engines to index. Go to Google Search Console and log in with your Google account. If you haven't added your blog to Search Console yet, you will need to do that first by clicking add property and following the instructions. Submit your sitemap to Google Search Console. So in the left-hand menu, click on sitemap. In the field that appears, enter your sitemap URL, then click submit. So the final step, review and confirm your settings. Double check all your settings in Blogger to ensure that everything is configured correctly. Go back through each step if needed and make sure that all changes have been saved and are correct. Monitor your blog's performance in Google Search Console to see how your changes impact your search visibility. This can take some time, so check back regularly to track progress. By following these steps carefully, you will be setting up your Blogger blog for optimal SEO performance. 
This will really help search engines find, index, and understand your content much better, giving your blog a way better chance of ranking higher in search results. We're not done yet though. Now that we've got all the on-page SEO settings in place, it's time to step outside the comfort of your blogger dashboard and explore the world of off-page SEO. This is all about building your blog's authority and reputation. Think of it like networking for your blog, but without the awkward small talk. Off-page SEO includes things like getting backlinks from other sites and promoting your content on social media. And guess what? AI tools can help you here too, making this less of a chore and more of a strategic move. Here's how to do it. So you can use AI tools like Buzzumo to find relevant blogs and influencers to reach out to for backlinks. These are essentially votes of confidence from other sites that tell search engines that your content is worth checking out. Google takes it seriously. So number two, you're gonna to want to generate a pitch email using an AI writing tool. This makes sure your outreach is professional, compelling, and typo-free. It's like having a personal assistant who is an excellent writer and never takes a coffee break. It's not me. Number three, schedule your social media posts like Buffer or Hootsuite. These AI-powered schedulers know when your audience is most likely to be online and can automatically post your content at the optimal times for engagement. Don't forget to include engaging captions generated by AI, of course, to capture your followers' eyes. By using these strategies, you are not just relying on search engines to find you, you are actively building a network and increasing your blog's visibility and authority. And the best part, you can sit back, relax, and maybe even make yourself a cup of tea whilst the AI does all the heavy lifting. So just before we wrap up this SEO adventure, let's take a quick moment to compare Blogger and WordPress when it comes to SEO reach. Now, both platforms can get you up there in Google's good books, but there are a few differences worth mentioning. WordPress is a bit like the Swiss army knife of blogging platforms. It offers advanced SEO plugins like Yoast, which help you fine tune every little detail of your SEO strategy. Plus, WordPress gives you a lot more flexibility when it comes to customization. You can tweak it until the cows come home. Now, Blogger, on the other hand, is more like the reliable old car that just gets you where you need to go without too much fuss. It's straightforward, beginner friendly, and requires a lot less maintenance. However, it doesn't have all the fancy bells and whistles that WordPress does, particularly when it comes to SEO tools. But don't worry, even with Blogger's simpler setup, you can still achieve excellent SEO results. With the right strategies and a little bit of help from AI tools, you are not missing out on anything crucial. It's all about working with what you've got and making the most of it. If you found this video helpful at all, and I really hope you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, especially those still trying to figure out their way around Blogger. And if I've earned it today, why not hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon? That way you will never miss out on any of our digital marketing tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. Happy blogging. Bye-bye.